D Tomorrow War stars Chris Pratt and Yvonne Strahovski. And the plot of this movie is present day soldiers are sent 28 years into the future to fight an alien threat that threatens the current day timeline. So technically, people from the future needs help. They send the future versions of ourselves ahead in time to help fight with this war. Otherwise, our current timeline will go extinct, pretty much. This was a pretty decent film, okay? It gets straight to the point. There's no waste of time. It's two hours and 18 minutes long, which is crazy to think. The main negative for this movie is that it didn't get its theatrical release. I think Amazon bought this movie. Wish that this movie that cost two hundred million dollars and it shows because it looks pretty damn good. Chris Pratt is great in this; he really is. This is probably like my favorite Chris Pratt movie. I think he's done. And Yvonne Strahovski, who who was not straight off Chuck, but that was like the last thing I saw her in besides Mass Effect Two. But that's also when Chuck was still going on. So. She plays a certain character in here. I won't say what kind of character, just in case nobody's watched this movie yet. But she's in this movie, and she is great. She has the best action scenes throughout the whole movie, and Yvonne Strahovski deserves it. She's probably one of my favorite action actresses out there. And I love how simple the, simple the storyline is, and how this movie just delivers straight into it. You don't get that nowadays. Sometimes movies like to take their time. But no, it sets up what it needs to set up and we get right into it because we still have another two hours to tell you everything else you need to know about this current, I mean the future timeline and why things are happening the way they do and who or what is in this future, you know? And the acting between both of them are great. I love the chemistry between him and Strahovski because they work off each other very well, which they have to depending on the situation that they're in and how this is the current version of Chris Pratt and he has to learn how the past version of himself in the future was and how that can make the struggle to make him a better man in his current timeline. So it's like Back to the Future if Back to the Future was an action film and Marty was this down on his self type character and has to redeem himself by going to the future and fixing some stuff which is almost the same thing, kind of, but it affects somebody else and his family member. So, yeah, trying to explain all that without spoiling shit is hard. So, yeah. Other than that, though, this was a fun action movie. Uh, it just had COVID rocking his boat, you know, because this movie could have made some good money. But especially with Chris Pratt, I feel Chris Pratt alone his movie should make at least decent amount of bank because Chris Pratt is like really underrated really really underrated and he deserves to have that much more respect for also being an actor with that had was that was like heavy set and he went and lost all that weight to do Guardians of the Galaxy and he's kept himself that way ever since it's crazy the dedication he took to do this so I give him that too so my hats are off to him too hopefully I'll see Yvonne again and more stuff but I'm giving the Tomorrow War a B because it was fun. Let me know what you guys think about this movie down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I will catch you guys in the next one.